What's up guys, Mitchell Watts with Town & Country TV and today I am joined by Kaylin. Hi. Hey, hey. So, uh, sorry it's so bright out here. Uh, that's the reason I'm always wearing these sunglasses and she forgot her sunglasses. Oh, like a dummy. I don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> anyway, so today we are going to do something that you guys requested. So we did a little interview style uh, of a video with uh, the Bronco and uh, the topic was brought up that she doesn't know how to drive a stick shift. Yeah, I shouldn't open my big mouth. <laughs> Well, anyways, we are going to fix that. So today's video, we are going to teach you and her at the same time. She's never driven a stick before today, right? Nope. Nope. All right. So you are going to see how I am one of the people that teaches people how to drive a stick shift at the dealership. And I've never not been able to teach someone in 45 minutes or less. So no pressure. Yeah, no pressure at all. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so I'm going to show you what my training program is on how to teach someone how to drive stick shifts. So uh, this is not our normal content. Normally at Town & Country TV, we go over cool videos of custom lift trucks and custom vehicles, high horsepower Mustangs with 700 and something plus horsepower. So if that is the kind of stuff that you are interested in, make sure you consider subscribing. We greatly appreciate it. And so without further ado, let's go ahead and drop in the car and uh, I'll kind of give you the lesson on what I do as far as uh, teaching how to drive the stick shift. I will also tell you though that we are going to speed a portion of this up because if it takes us real life 45 minutes to teach her, which is average actually, um, then I don't want you to guys sit here after watching a 45 minute video. So we'll just kind of speed up. Uh, so let's go ahead and hop in the car. I'll drive it across the street to a nice um, empty lot and we'll kind of show, show what that looks like. All right, yep, yep. you ready? Awesome. All right, let's do this. All right, so now that we are inside the vehicle itself, the way that I always teach people how to drive it is to make sure that they completely understand how a manual transmission works. Um, and so assuming that the audience that's watching this video doesn't know, I'm sure you do, but I'm just gonna go over it to make sure everybody's under the same page. So in a normal vehicle, you have an engine, you have a transmission, and then you have the rear end, and then you've got the tires. Like, so the engine creates the power, the transmission, transfers or tra you know transmits the power to the rear end and then the rear end you know the tire starts spinning so in a manual transmission you have the exact same thing you still have the engine you still have the transmission and you still have the rear end but instead that transmission where in an automatic it, it automatically changes it from gear one to gear two gear three or gear, gear four and just keep on and on and on in this version you change the gears yourself mm -hmm. So the way you need to look at it is you have the engine, you have the transmission, but between those two, you have something called a clutch. Mm -hmm. And all a clutch is, is it is a disengagement of the engine from the transmission. Okay. Think of it like um, that, that, okay, so now I'm ready to shift gears or I'm ready to, to change gears. I want to very quickly dis disengage the engine from the transmission. I shift my gears and then I engage them back together. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. And so the way that I can tell you that is because right now I've got the vehicle in first gear. And what I want you to notice is that I've got my foot on the clutch. Mm -hmm. That means the engine and transmission are disengaged. They're separated. Okay. So if I sit here with my foot on the brake mm -hmm. and I slowly let that engagement out the clutch, if I let the cl clutch out slowly, you're going to feel the car starting to vibrate because my foot's on the brake, it's not letting us roll. Mm -hmm. The engine is still spinning, but the clutch is trying to engage everything, but it's not going to let me. So watch what happens when I start to, to let that clutch out. You're going to feel it vibrate and then it'll die. Mm -hmm. Feel that? Mm -hmm. It's trying to go and you see it just died. The reason for that is because I had my foot on the brake, mm -hmm. I was forcing the vehicle to stay still. But when I, the engine was moving and I tried to connect those two, well, the brakes overrode the, and it just shut everything down. Gotcha. So, at a bare minimum, if you are on a flat ground and you want to learn how to drive a stick shift, all you have to do is let your foot off the brake. And now, uh, I'll tell you what, let, I want you to feel that engagement point. So you can see I can move my leg around a little bit right here. Yeah. The, the clutch is disengaged where my, where my foot is. But if I can find it, you're going to find a disengage or an engagement point where it starts to vibrate. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. you, do, you, do you feel where the, the RPMs of the motor kind of changed? Yeah. Watch. Yep, you, you can feel there's a certain point where 
in that clutch, if I push my foot down far enough, or th there's a point where it engages and disengages. Yeah. And so the idea there is if you can find that engagement point and just hold your foot there, hold your foot still, if you just let go of the brake on a flat surface, notice I'm not even touching the gas. I'm just very, very slowly engaging that engine and transmission together. Mm -hmm. Notice how we're rolling. Yeah. That's all you have to do. Huh. So at a bare bones, all you have to do is find that engagement point and let your foot off the brake and you'll start rolling. Interesting. Has anybody ever taught you to drive a stick like that? No. They try and work the gas, the brake, yeah. the clutch. The, it just gets to... Who, who can, that's right. Yeah. All you need to know is where's the engagement point. Mm -hmm. And while you're in this, this is why you have to kind of find an empty parking lot mm -hmm. like this. And then you just keep your foot on the brake, make sure it's in first gear, and then just work that clutch in and out. Oh, there's the engagement point. I felt everything change. And by the way, if you feel that RPM kick up, that's not me. My mm -hmm. foot's nowhere near the gas. Mm -hmm. All I'm doing is looking for that engagement point. There it is. There it is. And you got to get good at finding that engagement point fast. Mm -hmm. And that's what uh, we'll show you here in just a second is the repetition comes into play. But all you need to do is just worry about find that engagement point and just hover your foot right there. Hold it still. Hold it still and notice how we slowly start to roll. We're on a little bit of an uphill and that's the reason it didn't roll nearly as easy. When you're trying to do a manual transmission, trying to learn how to drive one, it's always easiest to try it on a downhill because you kind of get the momentum of the car will roll you down that hill. So let's come over here and I'll show you that again. The main thing you're gonna do at first is all I want you to do is feel that engagement point. Find where that engagement point is. All I need you to do is worry about an engagement point. So what we're going to do is we're going to swap here in a second. Okay. We're going to let you find that engagement point. But once you've got that engagement point found, and after you found it a couple different times, just let your foot off the brake and notice how we start to roll. The biggest problem people have when trying to learn a manual transmission in whiplash warning, I'm about to whiplash you, so if you want to put your head up against the... Thank you for the, the I appreciate it. <laughs> You're welcome. So, so the idea, but the, the most most people mess up is they let go of the clutch too fast mm -hmm. and that's where that happens yeah. okay mm -hmm. by the way i warned you that was not accidental i know what i'm doing uh, <laughs> I know, <you're> right. <laughs> but that's that's the biggest problem people have is they they get loosey-goosey on the clutch yeah. the idea is you can be loosey-goosey down here find that engagement point but when you find that engagement point if you're just trying to commute back and forth we're not talking about racing or teaching how people to race on a stick shift yeah but you just gotta be, notice how my foot hovered over that engagement point very, very slowly. Yeah. I barely moved my foot up. Yeah. Does that make sense? It does. So that's all I want you to focus on is actually moving your, just finding the engagement point. Uh, so we're gonna swap seats okay. and uh, go, kind of go about it that way. All right, so now that you're in the driver's seat, we have to get you to start up the vehicle. Okay. Always, when, by the way, when you park, always leave it in first gear mm -hmm. and pull the emergency brake up. Okay. There's a reason, we'll come back to that in a little bit later, but it's the main reason so your car doesn't roll off. Yeah. All right, to start the car, mm -hmm. all you have to do is keep your foot and your, your, uh, your foot on the brake and the clutch. So put both of them all the way to the floor. Okay. And by the way, that brings up a new, another point is if you need to make yourself comfortable, if you feel comfortable further away from the steering wheel, in a manual transmission, usually it's a little bit closer. So yeah. that way you have the ability to reach the pedals and, and push them all the way to the floor. Yeah. Okay, so are you feel comfortable with where you are? Yes. All right, so if you got your foot on the brake and the clutch, mm -hmm. leave them there, don't take them off, go ahead and hit the start engine. Okay. All right, now what I want you to do is uh, take the emergency brake off which I kind of pulled up on it really hard. <laughs> I'm sorry. God, you're so strong. <laughs> uh, no, trust me. That's not it. Yeah. You want me to get it? All right. Yeah. So, and by the way, if it ever gets stuck, you pull up, mm -hmm. then press the button and it comes down pretty easy. Oh. A lot of people try and pull the button and then hit the same. Anyway, uh, that's a different I'm, lesson for a different day. I'm learning all kinds of things yeah. today. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So you got your foot on the clutch and the brake. Keep it there. Mm -hmm. Make sure that you're in first gear, mm -hmm. which by the way, first gear, you got to make sure that in a uh, Mustang, you've got... First, second, third, fourth, 
fifth, and sixth. There's a diagram on the actual shifter. Every vehicle is a little bit different for the YouTube audience. Uh, so we'll make sure that it is in first, which is all the way over and all the way up, excluding reverse. If you lift this little lever here and then move it even further, notice how it drops you in reverse. Oh. So make sure that you, that's not what you, you, without lifting this lever, you want to be all the way to the left and all the way up. That's okay. in first. Okay. All right. So now we're not driving. Mm -hmm. All I'm concerned with you doing is finding the engagement point. So leave your foot on the brake mm -hmm. and very slowly pull your foot off the clutch until you feel the engine start to shake. That's when the motor is trying to engage with the transmission. There you go. We found it. All right. Push your foot back in. And by the way, when I say push your foot back in, I mean to the floor. Mm -hmm. All right, now I want you to find it again. All you're trying to do is get that muscle memory of where is the engagement point. There you go, found it. You're a lot faster than my last student. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so try it again. We're going to do this a couple times. We want you feeling comfortable with where that engagement point is. There you go. All right. Do you feel comfortable where that engagement point is? Mm -hmm. And the main point is, is the main thing is, is when you find that engagement point, when you're trying to accelerate, don't get nervous and don't worry about hitting gas. Because once again, we're just trying to learn. That'll come on uh, level two of the of this of this driving. But all I want you to do is find that engagement point. Remove your foot off the brake. Okay. So go ahead and find that engagement point. All right, let your foot off the brake. Holding your foot, your clutch foot. That's perfect. Congratulations. Yay. Very first time, and then to stop, you push your foot all the way back in the clutch. Anytime you stop with a manual transmission, mm -hmm. you do the clutch and the brake at the same time. Oh, okay. Okay, so anytime you come to a complete stop, clutch and brake. Okay. And it's at the exact same time. Okay. Um, if you brake without clutching, the motor will die, just like, earlier. you know, kind of just like we did earlier. Mm -hmm. All right, now what I want you to do again, uh, so we can turn around, okay. is I want you to, uh, you know, not accelerate, but just keep moving. We're going to go all the way back up and we're going to start going back up the hill. Okay. So find that engagement point and then let your foot off the brake. Doing really good. You hadn't even stalled it out yet. <laughs> <laughs> Knock on wood. Nothing like learning in a $43,000 vehicle. Oh, God. Uh, <laughs> you didn't tell me that. Now let your foot all the way off the clutch. Once you've gotten moving, you let your foot all the way off the clutch. That's right. Okay. So all that clutch does is it engages or disengages the, the transmission. Okay. You don't want to ride with your foot on the clutch. That's where a lot of people burn out their clutches. Yeah. Gotcha. And so uh, keep, keep, keep giving it gas. We're just going to keep moving. There you go. Just keep driving. You're good. You're good. We're not going outside of this parking lot. Um, I tell you what, just keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. All right. And then clutch and brake. Clutch and brake. Clutch all the way down. There you go. Yes. So when we say clutch and brake, we do mean them at the same time, but mm -hmm. the clutch goes a little bit sooner. Yeah. But yeah, that's that's exactly right. So anytime you press the clutch in, you're pressing that puppy all the way to the ground. Yeah, okay. And uh, the brake is just a normal brake. So yeah, it is a little bit of a learning curve, but mm -hmm. go ahead and start it one more time. Oh. We're too fast on the clutch. You hear that? Mm -hmm. that? That means you, all right, so let your foot all the way off the clutch. Okay. And then we're just gonna kind of loop around and we're gonna go back down the hill. But did you notice that going up this hill, it seems a little bit more difficult to get the vehicle started yeah. because you got gravity pulling against mm -hmm. you. And then go ahead and start again. So am I, I'm slowly letting off the clutch and then mm -hmm. immediately taking my foot off the brake. Yes, as soon as you feel anything changing with the motor, you instantly pull your foot off the brake fast. Okay. So there's nothing, so that your your clutch is, it, it's a little bit back, when you're letting the clutch out, it's a game to see how slow you can do it. Okay. With the brake, it's the opposite. The second you feel it, you've got to keep your clutch foot where it is, but immediately move your foot over so that way you don't stall the motor. Yeah. Does okay. that make sense? Mm -hmm. Look at you. Beast mode. <laughs> <laughs> feel like you're getting the hang of it? Yeah, definitely. Okay. All right, go ahead and stop and we're gonna start one more time then we'll loop back around and do another uphill. Okay. Because once again, the uphill is a little bit more difficult because you have to be even slower with the clutch. Yeah. And then by the way, the steeper the hill, if you get into these like crazy steep hills, you have to give it a little bit of gas mm -hmm. as well. 
The biggest misconception most people have with driving a manual transmission is they feel like I have to work the gas and the clutch at the same time and that's when stuff starts to get real jerky. Yeah. Uh, is because they think they have to work the gas where in a flat ground scenario like this, you don't ever really need to use the gas unless you're trying to hurry. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. Um, if you're trying to accelerate pretty hard, then, but we're just trying to talk about how do you learn how to drive a stick shift. And yeah. It, clutch and the brake is really all you need. Yeah. Every time I think of driving a stick, I think of The Princess Diaries. Have you seen that movie? I have. I'm glad to say to our YouTube followers, <laughs> I've not seen The Princess Diaries. Well, those who have, there's a scene where she tries to drive a Mustang up the hill and she can't do it. She just comes sliding back down and that's all I was scared of. <laughs> I am so glad that I have. I can honestly say I've never seen that movie. Uh, wish, my daughter probably has or wish, my wife probably has. I wish has. we could put a clip in. <laughs> if we can, I'll make Josh do it. But <laughs> Absolutely. All right. All right. Let's go ahead and get let your foot all the way off the clutch because once again, once you're rolling, your foot needs to be totally off that clutch because you don't want to burn your clutch up. And that is how people think that learning to drive a stick shift is how you burn the clutch up. No, it's it's hovering your foot on that clutch. All right, go ahead and stop and let's start again. Ooh. Oh, what'd you forget? I, for, for some reason I was like, I'm in an automatic again. <laughs> <laughs> you've got to make sure that you always push that clutch in. So go ahead yeah. and push the clutch in. The good news is you've made it quite a few laps before the very first time you stalled. So yeah. you're doing very good. Yeah. Um, let's do this. Um, let's talk about how you shift into from first into second gear. Cause I feel like you got a good grasp on what it looks like to, um, to, to get started. Well, how do you go from first to second? Mm -hmm. Well, it works totally different than everything I've taught you. Mm -hmm. So right now to get started, you're slow with the clutch mm -hmm. to get started. Well, when you're moving and when you're doing 10 or 15 or 20 miles an hour, however fast you're going in your time to move from first to second gear, you want to push that clutch in all the way mm -hmm. to disengage it. Mm -hmm. You want to shift it into second and then re-engage the clutch. Mm -hmm. And then you're shifted. Does that make sense? Yeah. Um, in fact, let me uh, let me demonstrate that for you. So okay. if you don't mind, I'm gonna get in and drive for a second okay. and we'll kind of go from there. So to put the vehicle in park, mm -hmm. uh, go ahead and make sure the vehicle's in first gear. Okay. Pull the emergency brake up. There you go. And then cut the engine off. You wanna leave it in first gear so that way if the parking brake fails, the transmission will hopefully catch you and keep the vehicle from rolling. So these two things together are kind of like a, a fail safe. Whereas if you had this thing in neutral and the parking brake fails, bye bye car. Yeah. And the same thing goes vice versa. If you put it in first gear and don't put it the e-brake on and the transmission fails, bye bye car. Yeah. It's nice to have both extra measures. Okay, so now since you passed the first uh, section of the of the quiz, and by the way, the reason we're not wearing seatbelts is because we're on a closed course with professional drivers. Well, I'm wearing a seatbelt. <laughs> Oh, oh, she does not like my driving, apparently. Uh, no, my dad's just in insurance, and if he saw a video of me not wearing a seatbelt, he would not be happy with me. Maybe I should have a seatbelt on, too. <laughs> I won't tell Dean, it's fine. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so once again, I'm going to show you again how to get started. Is You just let your foot off the clutch as slowly as you can, and as you can see, you'll start coasting. Mm -hmm. My foot's completely off the clutch. Now I can kind of give it as much gas as I want to. To shift into second, I let my foot off the gas, Press the clutch in, shift, let the foot off the clutch. Now I'm in second. Gotcha. So it's kind of a dance, and I'll show you a way that I remember it without actually having, because when I say it out loud, is let off the gas, press the clutch, shift the gear, let the clutch back out, and then give it gas again. Mm -hmm. It It's kind of hard to understand. Like it, it seems like there's a lot going on, but let me show you how I can prove to you there's not a lot going on. So let's say that I'm cruising. Let's say I'm doing 20 miles an hour, 10 miles an hour, and I got my foot on the gas, my foot is off the clutch, right? Mm -hmm. It's ready to, to change from first to second, second to third, whatever. You switch, shift, switch. Mm -hmm. That's the easy way to fix it, or to, to remember it, is if I'm cruising, oh, it's time to sh shift gears. I pull my foot off the clutch, mm -hmm. or pull my foot off the gas, put my foot on the clutch, I shift the gears, and then I let my foot off the clutch, put my foot on the gas. Mm -hmm. It's a lot going on. Yeah. So basically I do like this, mm -hmm. shift, and then I'm, I'm good. Yeah. So let me just kind of show you what I mean. Do you have to ease off the clutch? After not you nearly it? as, that's a great question. Do you yeah. have to ease off? No, you not nearly as much. So yeah. watch, I, 
Notice how I barely, I was, I was kind of aggressive with that clutch to prove a point yeah. that no, you don't have to, you don't have to work nearly as hard to keep and maintain. It's not going to jerk you around like getting started will. Yeah. Getting started is, it's extremely important to make sure that you are, um, that you're slow with the clutch, but shifting gears is a totally different animal. You don't have to be nearly as delicate with it, I guess okay. is what I'm trying to say. This part is a lot easier. If you can learn what you've already learned, this piece is a piece of cake. <laughs> and uh, so all I want you to do is just get accelerating. Okay. And so just go ahead and start. And once again, the same thing, just let the foot clutch out slow. Let your foot off that brake. I will tell you that you let your foot off the brake a little too late there. That's the reason it was a little bit jerky. Gotcha. All right, so your foot's totally off the brake and the gas. Mm -hmm. Give it some gas. Let's get some speed going. There you go. All right, let your foot off the gas. Push the clutch all the way in. Shift. And then let your cl uh, clutch out. And then give it some... Congratulations! Yay! First time's a charm! I did it. All right, and so uh, just go ahead and stop right here. Clutch, then brake. And now you've got to make sure that you put it back into first gear. Because okay. if you don't, that's one of the biggest misconceptions is that people think that, hey, it starts out on the right gear every time. No, you have to make sure that that's the reason you'll see people play with the transmission all the time and mm -hmm. manual transmissions is it turns into a habit. That's how you test or know you're in the right gear. Yeah. Um, or maybe it's just a guy thing. I don't know. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but anyways, so it's in first gear. Let's mm -hmm. go ahead and get it started. We'll loop back around. Okay. <laughs> all right when you see it start to do like that the very first thing you can do mm -hmm. is push the clutch all the way back in and it fixes it okay so if it starts to to rock like that the very first thing you need to do is oh i screwed up push the clutch back in it yeah. fixes it instantly because oh, once know. again the reason it's jerking like that is because the engine and transmission are trying to sync up and yeah, it can't and working. it can't do that yeah. but if you disengage them it stops it yeah does that, that make sense it does there you go. Let your foot all the way off the clutch. Give it some gas. Let's get some speed up. There you go. All right, now shift. Well done, well Yay. done. See, the shifting is the easy part, isn't mm -hmm. it? It really, really is. All right. Now, one thing you're gonna notice is you're going too slow for second gear. Oh. So if it feels like it's bogging down, that's mm -hmm. because you're in second gear going too slow. Yeah. That's a situation you wanna stop, put it in first gear, and a little bit more of an aggressive lesson, but I'll show you how to move it back into first while you're still moving. Okay. But that doesn't happen all the time. Yeah. Most of the situation for you know daily driving, you don't need that. Gotcha. You don't really need to work on that too much. Once again, it's it's coming out mm -hmm. as slow as you can, pushing it in, mm -hmm. it's to the floor. Yeah, yeah. You can be completely um, carefree with pushing it in, mm -hmm. but coming out, it's, it is truly a balancing act. Mm -hmm. uh, I know you've got a dancing background, yeah. and so the control of that foot is one of the reasons I think you're doing so well. Yeah. Uh, but realistically, that's the idea, is you want to pull your foot off of that clutch as slowly as you can. Yeah. When you're pushing it in, you want to engage it as fast, or disengage it as fast as you can. Yeah. Okay. All right. The reason it's doing that is because it doesn't have enough RPMs to get it moving. In that situation, I want you to see how little of gas you can apply to the vehicle. So we're going to stay still for a second. Okay. What I we were in third gear. Oh. That's the reason it wasn't wanting to start right. Oh. I was I was like, that is strange. Yeah. I, that's the reason it's important to make sure that you start in first gear because you yeah. had it in here. That's third gear. That is first gear. Yeah, because I thought it was being slow. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so as far as the, the next portion of training, I'm going to tell you how you can get started and go a little bit faster in case you got somebody behind you or if you're in a hurry. Right. But this is also applicable if you're going up a large hill. Mm -hmm. um, and so a lot of people, when they try and teach someone to drive a stick shift, they try and teach them how to balance the gas and the clutch at the same time. Well, as you can kind of just saw, that's unnecessary in most of the vehicles that are out available today. Mm -hmm. These cars have got enough power where you can just work the clutch, which is what you've been doing. Mm -hmm. Well, if you need to get accelerated going faster, or once again, going up a hill, you'll worry about giving it just a little bit of gas in addition to. So as you've 
up until this point, you've been balancing, going slow with the clutch. Mm -hmm. That doesn't change. That stays just the same. But now we will go from just letting your foot off the brake to letting your foot off of the brake and applying just a little bit of gas. Okay. So okay. as your foot is easing off the clutch, give it a little bit of gas. That, that's exactly right. So okay. here, but here's a lot of thing. Most people think you need a lot of gas to do this. Mm -hmm. That's why we're going to put it in neutral mm -hmm. and we're going to test this out. Okay. I want you to, uh, we're going to put the e-brake up so that okay. way we don't have to worry about rolling. All, uh, and by the way, you can let your foot off the clutch if you want to. Okay. So what I want, and the only reason you can let your foot off the clutch is because it's in neutral. Yeah. Okay, so now what I want you to do is really all you need as far as RPM to get started is maybe 1500 RPM, mm -hmm. maybe 1250. So okay. 1250 RPMs to 1500, mm -hmm. which as you can see, that's going to be somewhere around one and a half mm -hmm. on the tachometer. Yeah. Okay, so what I want you to do is you can let your foot off the brake since we got the e brake on. Okay. I want you to see how much gas it requires. We're not moving, we're just testing the throttle try and give it just 1500, 1500 RPM worth of gas. That's perfect. Yeah, that's Doesn't take anything. much, does it? Yeah, that's barely anything. Doesn't take much at all. Yeah. And that's where most people get messed up is they think that I, I need to give it, a, I need to give it gas. And that's when the RPMs shoot up, the clutch starts acting crazy and that people get all wonky. Now in your mind's eye, I want you pretending that you're letting the clutch out just as slow as you've always been doing. That doesn't change. Mm -hmm. The fact that we're going to add in the element of gas does not change a dadgum thing. Yeah. You, you still letting the clutch out is super, super slow. All you're going to do is just give it a little bit of gas. And then, you, you, so let's try that. So let's let the E brake down. Go ahead and put your foot in the clutch in. All right. Make sure that it's in first gear. All right. And the second you feel that engagement point, I want you to let your foot off of the brake and move it straight into the gas, but don't exceed 1500 RPM. See how you accelerated faster that time? Mm -hmm. Even though you, oh, go, ahead, go ahead and come to a stop. So even though the car never made it to 1500 RPM, the reason for that is because you were giving it 1500 RPMs worth of gas, but the clutch was starting to pull it down to get you accelerated. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? It does. So where you had the muscle memory of only giving it just 1500 uh, RPM on while you're in neutral, when you start engaging the clutch at the same time, it actually keeps that RPM down faster or down lower, but it makes you move a lot faster. I gotcha. Does okay. that make sense? It does. So it's kind of an ebb and a flow, if you will. So this is the final exam. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't she, know I was going to be tested. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the steepest hill that we have um, in the area. Mm -hmm. It's not that bad. Now, here's the cool thing about Ford vehicles, shameless plug, is they have something that's called uh, hill start assist, where if you let your foot off the brake um, and keep your foot on the clutch, mm -hmm. let your foot off the brake, notice it'll hold you here still for three seconds, oh. and then it'll start to roll backwards. Huh. Keep your foot off the brake. You feel that? Well, isn't that nice? Ain't Ford nifty. <laughs> <laughs> and so they give you three seconds to figure it out. Mm -hmm. Here's the thing: this is nerve wracking because you're on a steep hill, mm -hmm. but it's no different than what you were doing just back then. Yeah. I don't want you to treat it any different. Mm -hmm. Let your foot off the the clutch slowly. Mm -hmm. The second you feel the slightest thing moving, I want you to move your foot over to the gas and then keep that. It's no different. It just happens to be on a hill. Yeah. Okay. Yeah! Come on Yay, with it! I did Come on it. with it! There you go. Congratulations! Did I pass? You passed. Uh, I say. I said the final exam. That's not the final exam. Aww. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's more like the midterm. All right. There you go. You're good. Once you've got rolling, you can let your foot off the clutch. You can give it a little bit of gas. All right. Go ahead and shift it into second. Where are we and going? go straight. Oh boy. <laughs> There's nothing to be worried about. It's the same thing as always. Uh -huh. All right. So kind of ease on up here. We're going to turn right. And by the way, if you guys can't see, we're actually clutch. Oh. Remember, you always got a clutch when you brake. I forgot. I saw traffic and I panicked. <laughs> no, it's okay. There's nothing to panic about because there might be some traffic, but we're in absolutely no hurry. Nobody's behind us. You've got plenty enough time to turn. So whenever you feel comfortable, turn right. Look at you, driving like a beast. Give it some gas. All right, go ahead and shift it into second. 
you are doing perfect. Look at this. Yay. And then whenever you're ready, shift it into third. Is it third? Stay in this far right hand lane. Are you making me get on the interstate? I am making you get on the interstate. <laughs> <laughs> but you're doing great. You, I mean, there's no reason not to because you're doing fine. Oh, boy. <laughs> All right. Shift into fourth whenever you're comfortable. Straight back. That's it. Nope, that's in neutral. Oh. Now it's in fourth. All right. There you go. You're doing great. Look at you, girl. Yay. Go on with your bad self. <laughs> Congratulations. You have fit with inside the 45-minute window as well. Yay. In fact, I think you did it a little faster. Well, look We're just going to hang out in this lane. Okay. All right. If you want to, go ahead and drop it into fifth gear, which is uh, go ahead and shift into fifth. Push the clutch in all the way up and over. Okay. Nope. Oops. That was the wrong gear. Oops, Push the sorry. clutch back in. There you go. Perfect. All right. Give it some gas. You're good. You're cruising. Your boyfriend's probably not going to believe you. That's the reason we had to video document this. I know. Well, he said that he would bet 50 bucks that it would take longer than 45 minutes, so... Do I get a piece of that money? David. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little more high stakes when there's other cars involved. You're doing fantastic. <laughs> so, did you think you are going to be getting on the interstate today? No, I did not. Yeah, that's, uh, that's, the, that's the actual final quiz, by the way. So, uh, oh, the, the midterm is the hill. The interstate is the part that... Yeah. He, here's my thing. If you can conquer that hill, yeah. and, and I want you to pay attention to the road, I'll just talk to you. But if you can conquer that hill with nobody around, mm -hmm. and then you can turn around and conquer the interstate, yeah. guess what? Congratulations, yeah. you can drive a stick shift. Yeah, I think it's just one of the things that like takes practice. That's right. Repetition. That's right. And here is one of my things that I always recommend. you got a little bit of light uh, room before we get to the stoplight. So what I was going to say is the, the biggest problem most people have is I teach them. They get as confident and comfortable as you are, and then they never try it again. Yeah. And then they wonder why they forgot how to do it. It is a learned skill. It is like riding a bike, yeah. but you at least have to get that muscle memory down. And so my prescription or my homework for you is to drive this car every single day for the next 30 days that you come to work. Okay. All right, and there you have it. She is now an aficionado <laughs> of driving the manual transmission. So, yeah. uh, so glad you guys could join us for the ride. Uh, hopefully you guys learned something. Uh, do you feel like you learned something? Oh yeah, I'm, you know, I was a little bit nervous at, at the start of it, uh, but I've always wanted to learn, so it was super fun. Absolutely, and there you go. That is what it looks like, the basics of actually driving a manual transmission. So if you found anything in this video helpful, if it helped teach you, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. It really makes this video, makes this content available to the other people inside of YouTube that might find this useful. So please help us out with that thumbs up. Uh, if you haven't already done so, you can reach out to us. Uh, we'll have the phone numbers right there on the screen. But the biggest thing you can do is subscribe to the YouTube channel with that bell notification turned on so you don't miss a single video. Bye.